Okay, what I'm going to show you here is uh, is with the new business profiles on Pinterest. If you go to business.pinterest.com and you convert your your profile to a business profile, you can actually add widgets now to your to your website. I will give you one note: you need to add some code to your website here. You get your web developer to add some code, and this script goes into the footer, the footer footer.php file just below the body tag, uh, just before the body tag, okay? Uh, the, the final body tag. I mean, your, your developer would know how to do this. Um, you can just give them this text, send them this text, and this, uh, this JavaScript, or this script here, I should say. Um, it is JavaScript. Uh, this script into the bottom of your page, and then you can add, add any widgets you'd like, okay? So what I'm gonna do here is, uh, I've gone to uh, one of the more popular uh, uh, Pinterest sites out there, and it's, uh, it's one called Der Shop, um, a, a Der, which is for Decently Exposed. And, uh, and they've got a number of boards, but we're just going to use this board as an example. So what I've done is I've copied the URL, and then I've gone to the widgets thing, and then I've pasted that URL in there. And now with the advanced settings, I can change the image width, the image height, uh, and that sort of stuff. Okay, now I'm going to have to change the image width because I want to know the width of the uh, website, uh, the, the widget area on the website. Google Chrome, I can use a little measure it tool and find out that the, the, the width of this is probably around about, about 445 pixels wide. Okay, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to uh, edit this widget for the board width, 445. Okay, uh, the board height, I'm going to make it, say, uh, 220. We'll just see how that looks. Okay, that looks pretty cool. Okay, uh, and I'm just going to leave the, the image width as it is. So now, basically, all I've got to do is take that code. Widget area of the site. What I'm going to do is create a text widget. I'm going to put it just above the Instagram. Paste that code in there. Wait for that to save. That's saved. The page, and then you can see the widget, the Pinterest widget board. I click on that, and you can go. It goes directly to that, to that, uh, to that area. So you've got to make sure you have the code in place. But you can see how I've just added that to the site. Looks pretty cool. Okay. Um, and you can um, you can do this a number of times on any board. You can even include it in posts and pages. Okay. Um, that's how you do it. Uh, it's quite simple. Uh, but you need to have that code in the footer first.